Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week of August 28th through September 3rd of 2023. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow as well as those who have watched the videos and give them a thumbs up letting me know that you watched and enjoyed them. Thank you for that. The first card out is the Four of Rods. So on good, solid foundation, moving forward, happy times, celebrations in many courses for some of you. So you're just starting to understand what you want to do, where you want to go. So that's kind of nice to see. You accomplished something this week that, you know, you've had on the back burner for quite some time. And now you've decided that I want to get it done. And you've you know, put in the energy and effort into it. So you're also realizing that, you know, once that's done, I'm going to have a little bit of celebration for myself. I'm going to reward myself. Ooh, and the Empress. So a very abundant time for yourself. You're feeling very fertile, happy, things and stuff are around you growing and you realize it. And the effort that you put into things um, you're starting to see pay you back in different areas, different ways of your life. So you're realizing that, you know, your things you want in the future are just right there. And it's just going to take a little bit more time for it to, you know, come around. But you can see it already. So you're patiently waiting. But this is also a fertile time for having children in your life. This could be new fur babies coming into some of the families. But you're you're happy. You've planted your seeds. Things are starting to go the way you want. And you're more optimistic. And the Wheel of Fortune. So most definitely a new job for some of you that's going to pay you more money than what you had hoped for. You know, this could be the big career break. You got that chance. Maybe you've put in uh, recently for a job. And you thought, ah, you know, why not? I'll give it a whirl, see what happens. And they come back to you and go, yeah, you're the candidate. You're the one we want. And you're like, wow. And, you know, the money's going to be really good. You're going to be happy with yourself and your choices. You're also learning this week that, you know, once you step into that realm of your life there's a few things that you're might have to release as well you know people that don't have your best interests at heart maybe they don't mean to but you'll you'll realize quite quickly who your energy vampires are yeah and the four of swords so most definitely you have that in your life you're either overworked which is quite understandable you know, you just needed to get something done and you just kept going at it and at it and at it until it was finished. So, you know, it's worn you down and now you're overexhausted yourself. So you're going to have to take a little bit of time out and pick yourself back up, which is okay. Sometimes that's, you know, if you have that luxury, it is a very nice. And others of you, this could have been a, a mistake that you've made and you've realized it. And now you're trying to correct it because it's really weighing on you. And you'll do the right thing. And the emperor, yeah. You were feeling, you know, restrained, held back, not appreciated. You know, any any move you made didn't seem to be the right one. So you're setting yourself free. You're feeling more independent. You're not asking so many questions anymore of other people, like what they think, that sort of thing. You're doing you for a change. So that's really nice. And the Justice card. Okay. For some of you, this could be, you know, something that needs to part ways. Could be a contract that you need out of for some of you. Uh, the contract could be, you know, a legal document such as in a marriage. Uh, maybe you've taken a contract to, you know, rent a place for, you know, X number of time and something's come up in your life and you need to break that lease sort of thing or this could be just 
settling of old debts. Maybe you've owed some money to somebody or, you know, they've owed it to you. And finally, you know, you're going to make sure that it's, you receive what's rightfully yours. And the Seven of Swords. So you're keeping this to yourself. You know, you're not really sharing what's happening within your life this week. You were a little bit opener last week, but this week you're learning that it's time for me to, you know, until it's all over with. But at, right now you're not willing to share a lot of information with anybody about what's going on with your life because you don't want to be judged or feel that you have to explain. So you're just, you know, walking away, not sneaking away. You know, it could be that, you know, in some cases, yes, there is sneaky people around you, but you've learned that for those ones, you can spot them. So you're okay with that. You're not, you know, listening to everybody's input anymore because you're realizing that that didn't serve you well either. And the five of rods, so definitely stand in your ground. You know, if there's anything that you feel you have to stand out more than another, it's going to happen. But you stand out quite well. You defend yourself. You know, you don't always have to be on guard all the time. But you know who to be on guard with and who not to. And the knight of wands. So there could be a vacation coming in for some of you. It's a quick trip. You know, in your future, something that you're quite excited about. You know, you are already got all your, your plans of where you want to go, what you want to do, all that sort of things. And the experiences, more or less, you want to have. So you're thinking very positive about that, which is really nice because the sky is blue, the sun is out, and you're doing okay. And the Eight of Rods, and look at that. Now, this could be somebody actually giving you an invitation or coming to pick you up you know you're at home and you know your buddies show up and say hey let's go out for the evening but you know it's something coming in really fast for you information friendships you know just all walks of your life is going to just start to make you more happy it's going to show up and and it's unexpected like i said but it's also showing up that you're in receiving of it like you're happy that it's happening you're not you know it's going to happen so quick and then it's going to be over maybe you're going to a concert because there's many of that out there and you know it's motivating you to move things along in your life even some of you is a little bit faster maybe you were feeling like you know i'll just sort of take this a little bit slower but this is telling you like come on come on let's let's get this under control and get going And the lovers. Very nice. Now this could be some of you's, you know, in a in a relationship already and you're just committing back to each other. You've drifted apart for different reasons in your life and, and this is the week that you come back together a little bit more, more content, more happiness, that sort of thing. You just get along better. You know, and this could be a proposal for some of you, so congratulations. Maybe some of you are getting married. Or deciding that you're going to um, share accommodations, move in together, buy a home. There's many possibilities for the lover's card. But you're very happy when you do it. Like you are definitely a couple here. Wow. And the Ten of Cups. So most definitely happy home, happy life. You know, you're starting to receive and give because it makes you happy to do so. And you're in a relationship that's going to last. You're getting along with family better, co-workers. You're just having a very happy relationship, which is beautiful. You know, you're realizing that you can talk to one another. You can trust one another. And you're not judging. You're just being. You know, and it's beaming out of you. You just got that spark back in your relationship that, you know, after a while, you just get comfortable with one another and something happens and it's like, oh, you know, like, let's go out for the evening. Let's go to a show, just stuff like that. And it changes, you know, the humdrum into something a little more exciting. And the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are. Yeah, you're definitely... 
making sure that you know your bank accounts and stuff are nice and smooth and you're not stressing or worrying about them you made some good investments and when you decide to go shopping or anything like that or looking into purchasing something you're always looking for the best deal and you seem to find it so you know no matter what's coming in you're okay so that's really nice to see all right i'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle cards but your cards are very positive full of love you know within relationships family friends getting along with people a few things unexpected coming in but they're good unexpected things all right your desired outcome will occur in the very near future have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen well there you go and on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye.